where the university high school entrance examination system is king and basically everything centers around that. What you really end up with is a kind of learning that actually really just forces this kind of very slow, conscious, careful processing where you're then really just having to think about everything, probably getting stuff down on paper. <laughs> It's really just a case of hammering away at the automation stage of what we are doing. What you've always got to remember is you get good at what you do. So the rather disturbing reality, uh, and this is true for everybody pretty much because of the way you've really all been taught at school, is you've actually trained yourself to do this. And the brain basically gets good at what you train it to do. And then that's how it forms habits. And that's what it then wants to keep doing all the time. So people who have spent a lot of time, and especially, I'm afraid to say true in Asian contexts, where the university high school entrance examination system is king, and basically everything centers around that, what you really end up with is a kind of learning that actually really just forces this kind of very slow, conscious, careful processing where you're then really just having to think about everything, probably getting stuff down on paper. One of the big criticisms that I had about the way that uh, speaking, and it's not speaking at all, was approached in schools in Japan is that, you know, any kind of speaking exercise is scripted first. Basically, it's like, you know, they'll spend two, three weeks um, writing everything down. And sometimes that's okay, but really, again, it, you get good at what you do. And if what you do is carefully script everything, then use it from the script while well, your brain's going to want that crutch all the time. It's, it's very similar to using subtitles to watch films. If you are always using subtitles and then you switch the subtitles off, of course, you're not going to understand anything because it's like um, taking the heroin away from a heroin addict. Terrible analogy, but it's kind of what it's like. So the first thing to do is just kind of understand like, why it happens and to start doing the things that you want to do right now, even if you can't do it, if that makes sense. And that really means not scripting everything. It means trying to just do it without too much mm. conscious thought, even if that means you kind of get worse in the beginning. <laughs>